Now our next topic is reasons for the destruction of wildlife. Right? So the first reason is due to the human interference in grassland and in watershed area of the forest, the natural habitat of the wild animals is put in danger. Now what is the human interference? Now that you have to un let's understand it briefly. What is human interference in forest? Okay. Now this all are the places where a wild life abodes are there. Where in forest. Right? So now how humans are interfering? Like for example to graze their cattle. What they do? They get into the forest. Right? So they, uh, these cattle eat all the grass. Right? And who are the herbivores? Like deer is there, rabbit is there. They are completely dependent on the grass. They don't have grass for themselves. Right? So because of that what happened? They remain hungry and they die. Right? Then when herbivores die and carnivores are dependent on who? Herbivores. And if herbivores are not there, then carnivores remain hungry. Right? They will not find herbivores very easily. So what they will do? They will come out from their area, from the forest and they move to find out the cattle nearby the area. Maybe in village, maybe in a forest area. So that's what they will do. Right? So this is what happened. In a watershed area, I means pani pine ke liye, cattle drink all the uh, water. Then nothing will remain for the uh, wildlife because they have very few places to drink water over there. Right? So they come out from the area. So this is what the human interference is. Then the second is destruction of feral forest is the main reason responsible for natural imbalance. It is final impact in the reduction in the number of wildlife animals. Right? And for example, destruction of forest. Destruction of forest means we are cutting trees. One, if we cut one tree, because of that, you know, hundreds of microorganisms, then other herbivores, carnivores, all are affected. So, humans are cutting trees on a large number in a large area. So what we are creating? We are creating a ecological imbalance. Right? So because of ecological imbalance happens. So what happened because of that? Many microorganisms, organism, herbivores, they died in the forest region. So this is what the destruction of forest. Right? A number of wild animals are reducted or reduction of, you have seen reduction of uh, number of wildlife animals. Now, the second is, third is hunting the animals to obtain hair, hair skin, uh, bones, horns or nails is also responsible. Now, for example, if we will discuss many elephants were killed for their tusks. Right? The tigers are killed for their hides, yani for their skin. Mask deer killed for their mask that is inside them. Right? Alligators were killed for their skin, for their teeth. Uh, then tigers, many, uh, you know, for fur. So, for many reasons, animals were killed for the purpose of, uh, you know, human's need or for satisfaction of human needs. So, this all things are happening till there is a banning. Government has already banned to do hunting. But still it is going on. And because of that many animals were killed. Rhinos were killed for their, uh, you know, horn, one horn rhino. So, there are many reasons why these animals were killed. On a very large number. Then, the over-exploitation of forest made by human for his greedy motives such as road, multi-purpose projects, mining, minerals, expansion of new settlements or cities, etc. displays the violence. Now, for example, if we discuss, in Bombay, you, you know, or you hear in the news, a leopard has come into the, uh, you know, uh, the area where humans are residing. Why? Because humans entered in the forest area. 
they have made houses flats everything in their region then you have heard that many times the uh, elephants have you know completely destroyed the agriculture or they come on the road why because elephants have uh, you know in their heritage ke they go on a same path yani har saal unko ye sikhaya unke inheritance mein inheritance mein ki wo ek hi path pe chalte hain उनको रास्ते ऐसे ही याद है तो वहां पे हमने अगर रास्ते बना दिए डैम बना दिए अगर हमने वहां पे घर बना दिए हमने अगर वहां पे एग्रीकल्चर फार्म्स बना दिए तो उसमें हमारी गलती है या एनिमल्स की एलिफेंट्स की एलिफेंट्स नो देर पाथ दे आर गोइंग ऑन देर पाथ ओनली राइट वी हैव मेड ऑल दिस रोड एंड ट्रेन यू नो Is everything is done by who? By humans. So we are interfering in their roads, right? And because of that, who is dying when there is a conflict happened between humans and animals? Who suffered the most? Animals suffered the most. So that is also a reason. Multi-purpose project, mining, metals. These all are the reasons of of the destruction of wildlife. Then. Another is forest lands are being encroached for grass, fuel for or for grazing. Means I told you cattle are you know sent into the forest for and uh, they uh, have all the grass and everything, pastures, everything they will take fuel for grazing. So for all the purposes, uh, people entered into the forest area and they interfere and they clean up for their own purposes. so uh, uh, animals remain in that view only means animals does not have anything to eat why because they cannot go out of the forest then the forest fire animals many species when the forest fire occur at the time of rearing the young ones of the birds are hatching the eggs right so it creates a negative impact on the numbers of wildlife animals you we Have, we are having the very big example of El Australia. There is Australian forest fire. You know, millions of species died in that. Right? So many species are completely destroyed, destructed in that. Why? Because of the forest fire. Because of forest fire, many trees are caught in fire. Though birds died, animals died. They are hatching eggs. They died. New ones, young ones died. so this all happened because of the destruction this create the destruction of wildlife so that is what forest fire then due to the loss of their natural habitats many humans without sorry many animals without any abode come into conflict with men and sometimes even lose their lives i told you that when they come out for food for the searching of food outside from their forest and they get into the human abodes yani gharon ke paas paas chale jaate hain to conflict hota hai to who died who suffered the most you uh, animals suffered the most hunting to procure biomedicine or thing which may perfume also bring the species on the verge of extinction right so that is also one reason why the animals are uh, used for like old humans deer is used for making perfume then biomedicines from uh, tusk of elephant from the teeth of uh, uh, tiger from the teeth paws are used then bones are used of tigers rhino uh, horn is used to make biomedicine so for other purposes also this uh, animals are killed so this all are the reasons why the animals are killed and because the animals are killed they uh, they are on the verge of extinction or they are on the that what is the destruction of wild life now the next topic is measures of preservation of wild life means how we can preserve our wild life is what should be done to preserve our wildlife
मेजर्स टू प्रिजर्व अवर वाइल्ड लाइफ यानी हम हमारी वाइल्ड लाइफ को कैसे बचा सकते हैं वॉट वॉट कैन बी डन इट इज नेसेसरी टू चेंज अवर एटीट्यूड एंड परसेप्शन टूवर्ड द फॉरेस्ट we consider consider it as a source of unlimited income which is a mistake it must be preserved only then the natural habitat for wildlife can be saved means hamara jo perception hai hamari jo thinking hai ki forest hame yo hame kya hai hame usko har tarah se use karna hai misuse karna hai to wo hame hamara thinking change karna hai we have to think about wildlife also we have to think about the animals both they are living in the forest trees species are living in the you know they are in the forest we have to think about all of them and we have to change our thinking we have to change our perception that forest are always useful for us right so if we change our perception then we start you know damaging forest more less so that can be done so first thing is to change the perception change the perception right now the second is maintain the balance of number between the herbivores and carnivores in the forest maine bola na ke if balance is not there if balance is not there in between herbivores and carnivores then it create a imbalance in a ecological system why because see our uh, trees uh, or the plants herbivores dependent on them right and carnivores dependent on the herbivores so balance should be there between herbivores and carnivores for this steps like maintaining the water source in the forest and restriction on grazing of domestic animals should be taken so grazing of uh, domestic animals are completely should be banned from the forest so they can survive herbivores can survive on the forest only and carnivores can be survived on herbivores so that can be done. right then there should be a strict law to ban hunting those laws should be implemented very harshly heavy punishment should be inflicted for illegal mining in forest area and fine should be imposed so uh, on page number 70 it has given first ban on hunting hunting right strict law should be made punishment should be given those who are doing hunting or those who are doing in the mining in the forest area if strict laws are made then everybody will be fear of law and then what happened hunting can be minimized right and we can save more and more animals can be saved then it is necessary to make such arrangement which would not disturb the animals during their procreative period procreative period means when they are in the process of uh, you know uh, when they are uh, very close or when they are on the uh, on the a giving birth to a baby so for that uh, for before that there is a period that is known as a procreative period right so when that period is going on so at that period at that time not a single animal should be disturbed when we uh, go to many uh, you know uh, forest uh, at that time when this period was going on at that time forest were closed for the visitors why because their pro creative time is going on so they should not be disturbed it was you know very dangerous for wildlife also and it was very dangerous for humans also a study should be made about the likely effect of fisheries forest grazing or tourism in the forest and steps should be taken accordingly right so fish, fisheries can be promoted right then forest gathering or tourism in the forest and step should be why because income we can increase by forest tourism and that money can be used in for the betterment of the wildlife only for the betterment of the uh, forest only so that can be done program should be arranged to bring widespread awareness in the society that what we are doing 
means by programs by radio programs by tv programs by you know in the books you can create a more uh, what we say awareness in the a society that can be done if the wildlife protection force is inactive the pressure should be brought on them to this work should be given priority so it is very much necessary that the priority should be given to the wildlife only right so the main, main force will be made so that can see that how and how can we save the wildlife or how can we save the forest so everything plays a very important role so this is what about the measures to preserve our wildlife right change the conception balance uh, in how it was and how it was ban on hunting more awareness should be done right so this all should be done this is what